Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. It's another glorious day here in Icarus. So since the last episode, I stayed in here. It's just I uh, was waiting for that stuff to cook down. So I went and chopped down a couple trees, uh, restocked my wood pile, redid my stone. I rebuilt this a little bit, repaired it. So only twice has this thing needed to be repaired in all the time I've been here. It's actually held up pretty good. I think maybe the stone helps a little bit, the cave, and also the reinforcements that you guys said to make. So, we've got enough stuff now. Look. 24 copper. Now we can make the dehumidifier. Oh, man. What's going to be next that I don't have? The reason why I can't use this. <laughs> Something. Something. Now, I'm guessing... I'm hoping that I can take this biofuel can and this... Powerful portable protection against the effects. Do I set it down? Powered by charcoal. Really? It's powered by charcoal. The dehumidifier heavily reduces bacterial growth in caves by reducing dampness. Okay, so I've actually been getting rid of a lot of my charcoal. But here's some. Whoa, watch this. Boom! Charcoal's super heavy. Charcoal is super heavy on 50 kilos. 50 kilos. All right, this is our big cave here, so we kill these dudes. Where are they? I know they're coming back in. Are they not? I was just in here a little while ago. Click to activate the station. Deactivate. It's running. Powerful portable protection against the effects of being underground. You can see it's <laughs> it's dehumidifying. It says I'm cold. Oh, look. There's a, in the bottom left, above my uh, health rating, there is a dehumidifier icon there. So, interesting. We got all that stuff. I guess that's going to tell us how far away we can go. Oh, I think that was the other thing I wanted to do, though, was... It's going to make some... You know, I could probably take out every other torch here. Right? I mean, there's a good amount of torches in here. Instead of going and making more, I think I'll take out every other one. The um, the fuel seems to be pretty good. I haven't refueled these since I initially put them down. Oh, that one was almost gone, Zos. I actually put I put down a ton of the. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, you can see that which ones were about ready to go out. Leave that one going. See how that looks. Probably don't need this one. All right, how many does that take for me? That's going to be five torches. All right, so we have split this stack. One, split this stack. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, from here, look, the dehumidifier is not working. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Um, right there. Okay, that far away. So I need to take that thing over with me if I'm going to go around the corner. Because you can only be about this far away from it. I knew, I knew there was going to be something to that, right? I knew there was going to be something to that. Oh, and that too. I was afraid of that. Let's see. Split that stack. Split that stack. Destroy that. That should be enough. 
Well, I wanted to take this wood over there with me. We'll come back and get it. Okay, we got a fair amount of stuff there. What if I... S oh, shoot! Did not expect that guy to come back out. The other guys didn't. Alright, dehumidifier. That in activate. And let's put uh let's put a torch down on here. There. That's better. A little bit better. Wow. You get away from that torch looking the wrong way. Not so good, oh. All right, I'm gonna go get that wood now that I have, oops, now that I have that set down so I can make some, yeah, make some ramps with this. Okay. I initially set that down because I got encumbered. This is cool, you can stay in here a while now. So, to make wood, it's, it's fiber. I don't have that much fiber. Where did all my fiber go? Dang it! Unprepared. I can make one. What the actual deuce? All that fiber back home. Can I jump back to this from there? Is this gonna be aluminum again? Platinum, okay. Um, once I put down these torches, oh, Gonna help a little bit, <laughs> then we'll use our lantern to make sure we don't miss anything in the area. So I did pretty good actually in the other cave at the end of last episode on, with gold, did pretty good with gold, interestingly enough. This stuff here is more platinum. You would think, I don't know, platinum and titanium, right? Hmm. Seem to be fun. Now, if I was up top, do you think I would find that crack right there and be able to fall through? I'm still by the dehumidifier. Oh. It's like, give me a zero... I don't know if that's good or bad. Actually used up the copper too that I had found. But there was still a lot more in the other cave. You're like, hey, Meaty, why don't you put out one of those torches? All right. All right. Lantern is so good. It's so good! I have a feeling that's iron there. I have a feeling I could have a worm back in here somewhere. What? Dude. I could feel I wasn't on the ground. This is a glitchy area. Look at this. My feet aren't on the ground. I could feel that, you know? I could feel it. Is that my last one? Okay. All right, what do we got in here? We got iron. Iron. Titanium and coal. <laughs> Um, this is the deepest I've ever been in a mine, that's for certain. And I'm out of the range of the dehumidifier, so it's not very good. The range is, I don't know, I guess you're, oh shoot, oh shoot. Uh, put that in there. We're five kilos over. Uh, let's do this. This is what I did last time. This is why I had wood stacked there. Because I got 
Yeah, there's something weird right here. You can see I can't even place this down. Put it back here. Something weird right here. It's like a ramp. I gotta get back over by that humidifier. Hoop! Nice. <laughs> it's cool. It's a cool looking device. It's the definitely by far the fanciest thing I've made so far. <laughs> as far as looking like modern day stuff. I gotta go take this ore back and then come back. Probably probably move the humidifier with me. Oh. Okay. Well there's a wolf right outside the right inside. <laughs> Screw you! Dang, dude, it's the first time I've been bit in a long time. It's level 23 as well, so he was no, he was no pushover. Get them bones in case you need to make some more epoxy. It's all epoxy. All right, so we've got ore to melt down, which is platinum, copper, titanium, and then we've got. Some more coal. I'm thinking we're going to need this coal pretty soon for something. And then... Let's see. I needed more... Give me two two things of fiber. The bones. I'll put that there. And then this. Bring this up to there. Leather. Mm, I don't think I need to bring all this charcoal. I've been st I have some charcoal in here stored. You know what's a good thing is that there's no weight limit in the uh, cabinets. Some of these survival games will put uh, encumbrance limits on your on your stash. And that can be very nightmarish when it comes to like all your ingots and everything. How we look on everything? Everything looks okay. My torch looks okay. Um, I've got stuff that I can make. Yeah, I got can make a lot of those now. Got this stuff off that guy. These two cooked ones for that. We'll replenish our food source. Looking pretty good. Water's looking good. All right, I say we go back in there. I mean, it's a chance we could clear this mine out. I, I that's the first time I've ever seen a wolf come in. Oh, they're back, baby. Trips, man. Had the triplets going. I guess I got lucky that one time coming back in. Means are they all gonna be back in now? That guy over there. Yep. This be like a time thing. This guy up here. I spawns in over here somewhere. He's underneath. Oh shoot! Got to shoot his body. Got him. Well, my my bridge hosed me a little bit, but that's okay. Oh. Hoot. Yeah, I know you. you you can go in the water with like there's no ill effects other than it being a little bit cold um but it's you're you can go underwater you're in a spacesuit you know you're in a spacesuit so that's not a problem see how much more is over there i just wonder if i can go over here get it come back stand by the humidifier there's a lot of coal here oh shoot There's a lot of coal here. Three things of coal. Iron, and then this one here, I think iron ore again. I don't know if I should wait. I'm not saying waste my time with it, but. And all my wood's right there. I can use uh, fiber, I think. Oop. Fiber. All right, more iron. That's aluminum. Coal. 
coal. Well, the so how valuable is coal? It seems to be a lot of coal here in the back of the mine. There's some gold over there. We get one, two, three things of coal. Two irons. More coal. Four things of coal. I gotta get back over here by the humidifier. Dehumidifier. De so, how do you think that works? Does it does it reset you? And then, as you go away and it's not there, does it start like a, a timer before you get pneumonia? I wonder how that works. That would be interesting to know. Because, like I said, I was over there a little bit. Come back over here, kind of reset the pneumonia counter, and then go back over there, I guess. So, let me look here. Gunpowder in Tier 2, I think. Excuse me. Carbon paste. Maybe I didn't even unlock gunpowder yet. I thought it was here. Tier 3 is where you first get the firearm, so that must be where gunpowder is. Gunpowder, did I unlock it? A lot of times I look for things I didn't unlock, and if I did unlock it, I'll look right past them. I wonder if the thermos is any good. Provides cooling modifier. Basic wall light. Thought. Where the heck is gunpowder at? Am I missing it? Gotta be back here then. Why would gunpowder. Gunpowder's not in tier one. Can't be. Why would it be that far away from before you can even make a gun? Carbon paste, steel, blue. There it is, gunpowder. Got it. So gunpowder is charcoal and sulfur. I don't even need coal for that. Ugh, that's what I was looking at. I don't even need coal for that. More coal. Coal for something. All right. I guess we'll... Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go see, evaluate like what we need. I think... I really want to try and make one of those guns, but... Hmm. I don't know. I was told that only, like, the rifle is only really worth, and if... That might mean that Tier 4 rifle. Did this thing get anything in it from the last couple of... Nothing. I don't know how to make ice. That must be... See, it says it's fuel... Why would you need fuel for a rain barrel? Rain reservoir, simple and durable way to collect rain. Well, it hasn't rained yet. It, it was like a there was a rainstorm, but there was a thunderstorm that usually means rain. All right, so we're still cooking a little bit here. We've got platinum. Making platinum right now. We're making titanium right now that's the end of the titanium now we're making platinum got a couple of uh i filled my thing over there up so i guess i'll just keep this stuff in here for now so we're going to make platinum and that'll be it of that hmm all right do we unlock the gunpowder now now i'm starting to like get nervous about what i'm using my points for let's just unlock this we make this at the machine bench. What does it take to make the gun? 40 steel ingots. Okay, that's that could be an issue. We may need to go in and get that iron. So we need to make steel bloom for days. So we have two ways of making steel bloom now. Oh, I guess we always did. Iron and coal unrefined. And then... So six unrefined and three refined. Okay, that's that's what we needed. The coal. I knew coal was needed for something, right? How many do we need? Forty. I think each bloom makes one. 
13. <laughs> oh, dude, that's super expensive. Okay, all that iron I saw in there, I am going to need that after all. So that's cool. We'll go back and get it. Um, you know what? Actually, I'll go get it and not have to worry about refining it. Right? Hopefully those guys don't spawn in because I'm just I'm just going ham. Oh, no! I missed my jump. I jumped sideways. Oh, I found a new guy. See ya! Okay, I found a new a new guy that wanted to spit on me. You know, with uh, with this bow, it's a one shot to their suck hole. But with the other bow, if you, you sometimes it might have been two. I don't remember hundred percent, but you got to get them right in the old suck hole. All right, we saw. Wow, look at the coloring now. It's because it's getting dark outside. Say crafting. Well, I'm not sure how much that helped me. Oh, maybe. Ooh, look at that. Fancy <laughs> pants. Oh. I think I'm blocking my own light. My big belly is like covering the lantern. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall through along this edge here. I'm right on the edge. No, I'm definitely blocking my own light. It'd be funny is if you threw your the torch down on this thatch and it caught the whole thatch on fire. Now that would be funny. All right, this is starting to really annoy me. It was kind of glitched in there. We got all that. More right here. We need this now. You know, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about the steel for making all this stuff. A lot of those things was like a butt ton of steel. And that takes all your... That's where the coal comes in and all your extra iron. Now I know. Copper. Oh, we're, why are we almost full already? Did I bring... I brought I brought that ore with me, or did I? <laughs> Dude, I got mad hops. Hoop! I think I brought a hundred coal with me. That's okay. That's this is exactly why I built this place right here, right? What if I had to go all the way back right now? That would be stupid. I mean, I don't always do the smartest things, but. Ooh, 17. Delish. See, it still only use it you barely uses any coal. Hey, it's daytime. What was I cooking? Fish. I'm gonna do some fishing pretty soon. Water's okay for now. Alright, so we need more. We need more, but I the thing I don't need to do is take all this extra weight with me. Here's one unrefined and one of those. Okay, we're good on weight now. Let's go back. We're going back, baby. No worms, no worms, no worms. I was just in here. Hoop! Up! Oh, I didn't do it as bad that time. Neener, 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 neener. You see, not only does it take away the chance of you getting pneumonia, it takes away that underground thing, which actually has, is a pretty solid debuff. It's a pretty solid debuff. Never thought I was going to need all this iron. Now I had all those stacks and I've used it all up. That one's done. So it's taken a second. I'm still not seeing the underground uh, debuff yet. You need to have that underground debuff ticking away on you. So even though... Maybe even though I'm not getting hit by the... Uh, 
that I'm not getting the bu the bonus buff from the dehumidifier. It it's I'm not getting the underground perk right now. I actually it's not a perk, it's a debuff. And then you the longer you have that, the long the quicker you're gonna get uh that's coal. The quicker you're gonna get whatchamacallit? Copper, I saw that copper, copper, there's iron there and that gold back in there. I like gold. It's delicious. I'm still in the back of my mind as I'm playing this. I'm still thinking, where else am I going to be able to do this? You know, long this. I'm literally hitting that. Why isn't that working? Dude, I, I had to start swinging before I jumped. Cool. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, a, I'm like around the corner now. Actually, it'd be faster to go this way to get out of here. We're going to make a gun. We're going to make a gun. I know it's dark, you guys. Just... Bear with me. Instead of dropping my lantern on the ground. That's it. Got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, see? We go right here. We've made a... a now you see I'm getting that underground perk. So, our debuff. That alone gives you water consumption, stamina, and, you know, minus health regen. So while you're waiting to get pneumonia, that's happening to you. If you're in that position too long, you get pneumonia. Baby deer. All right, as a reminder, what do we need, 40? Was it 40? 40 steel. That's expensive. That's, um, there's, no, there's just no way around that. There's no way around that. All right, we've got 30 right now, so we can make 22 more. I don't think I should make it all. I might need iron for something else, just in case, you know? All right, well, that's cooking. Let's throw our gold in there, and we'll go ahead and cook this stuff down, I guess. Do your thing. Put the coal back, and then we needed some screws, and we needed some wood. That's why I chopped the trees down. Wood. I only need like 12 wood, but whatever. Let's grab this. 37. All right, keep going. So, gun. 12 wood so if there's no way what is this little thingy there's no way to like shift drag okay shift drag splits it that's what I wanted shift drag will split it okay that's easier because then you can like quickly Break it down for me. It's 22. All right, we got this. Now that I finally figured it out eight years later. And then we need 10 screws. Look at that. I like that. I tried it before. I was using control, though, thinking I could control and right click and take like one away. But it's it seems to be only. Only shift. Like, that was control to get it to move over there. Hmm. Interesting. The shortcuts that drive you guys crazy that I don't use. I try to. But I'm telling you, using control and shift in here throws me off in Minecraft with control and shift, which throws me off in other games with shift. <laughs> I got issues. Oh, I gotta cook this down. Whoopsies. Alright, let's do that. 
remove this stuff so it starts cooking that steel for now. Iron ore and gold ore. We'll put this fiber away. We'll put the sticks away, that fiber away. We'll put that in there. So what else? I uh, need eight leather and that's it. So I'll have it I'll have everything in there once that's done. Eight leather. Was told there would be no math during the making of this video. All right, we are cooking, officially cooking steel. Nice. All right. Need some water. Any water in here yet? No. Something. What's got me nervous is that thing that says fuel, but it's, it's it shouldn't. Oh, you know what? I bet you have to have something. In, oh, that's what it is. You have to have something in here. Requires fuel, but it's saying the fuel is ice. Like legit ice. I saw something about ice somewhere. Somewhere I thought I saw something about ice. Well, this is the ice box. Maybe that's what I saw. Stores food at low temperatures. When supplied with ice. There's got to be a way to make ice. How do you make ice without a refrigerator or freezer? Uh, you don't, meaty. You got to make one. This is the part when you got to go looking for something. They're so hard. It's hard, hard for me to find. See, it might be like an ice box or something that you put water in and it freezes. Or you got to get some of these jars going. Small iron crate. Ceiling light. See, if you have this, you need some kind of power, I guess, right? Needing power. Yeah. Like those, uh, those panels. So here's the, maybe if you had, you could use these to do water, that's fine, but what about the ice? Dude, I have no clue. Why would it let me make that thing way back here, but it needs ice? I don't understand. I do not understand. Requires fuel, and here's the fuel. Hmm. That's really interesting. You're like, no, it's not. Figure it out. Well, I'm trying. How do you make ice? With water and cold weather, meaty. Where the heck is it? Lantern. Leather curtain window. Poison paste is the only thing I don't have unlocked there. And where did we unlock that at? Right here. So we unlocked it in tier two. If you unlock it here, there should be either pre-tier or this tier should be a way to make what it needs. All right. One thing I found was sometimes there was things that was unlocked that you didn't know. Gunpowder, carbon paste, organic resin, tree sap, flour, no ice. No ice. All right, so let's make some gunpowder. Charcoal and sulfur. All right, so here's our sulfur. And here's some charcoal. Gunpowder. Fitty. So, do you have to make bullets? <laughs> do you have to? I didn't even look at that. Do you have to make bullets? There you go. What's it made at? The machine bench. Unlock that. Rifle round. One iron ingot, one gunpowder makes a bullet. Okay. Let's just... Oh, I stopped it on 23. Rip. Put this in there. All right, so we have that. Now we need some iron ingots. Say 20. We'll make uh, 20 bullets. 
All right, we got some bullets. Still waiting on our steel. 23. We need 40, right? Yep, 23 of 40. We're so close. We got bullets. We're going to do this before this episode ends. I like the dehumidifier. It makes you feel you can stay in there longer. Like, that's a good size cave right there. Like, that one there is kind of like the same idea, but it's, it's uh, maybe one third smaller. Yeah, than this one. A little bit smaller over there than this one. And this iron lantern is awesome. This thing's awesome, especially that you can, well, usually you can drop it straight, but I guess while we're waiting, I can biofuel up my lantern. You know, what I always forget, though, is to get it back from in here until I'm inside the cave. Now, I made my sickle out of platinum because I wasn't using the platinum for anything. You know, like, well, might as well, if I'm going to make a sickle, I might as well just make it out of platinum. What the heck? What I do need is some more. I think I need more arrows. Yeah, I'm down to 18. Let's go do some hunting. See if we get some bones. While we're just waiting for that. Ooh, weather. Waiting for that um, steel to cook down. Like, is it really worth killing a poor rabbit? Where's the animals? Wolf. Goes back here. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now that is a good shot. I don't care who you are. That is good shot. Got a storm inbound. See ya! Cover them up a little bit. Give me your bones. Give me your bones. The wolf right there. Ooh, right in the ribs. Level up. What? Already? That was a pretty quick level up from 30 to 31. I get you know what it was. It was all that ore. Mining ore gives you a lot of points. Like, I think it was like, like if you do out here, it's like a stone is like 30 and 90 or something. And there's like 400 each time you get a chunk. What am I doing out in this storm? I just want to try my gun out. That's all. See if it's totally garbage. 20, 40 steel ingots and it's garbo. It can't be that bad, can it? What is that effect I'm getting? 20%. I was wondering why I moved moved so slow. Oh, my house is getting blown up. I could definitely feel myself slow down. Probably should eat something, huh? All right. How about some arrows? Sticks. Fifteen, that's fine. It's all the bones I had. All right, cook this meat in here. And oh my God, I ran out of it. Don't don't even tell me. Don't even tell me that it was out before I left. 17. Yeah, I think it was out before I even left. Wow. So all that goofing around there. <laughs> I wasn't even melting my stuff down. Dang it. It would be interesting to see if it gives you more points. If it's the same points for a bow kill as it is for a gun kill. 
Because if they gave you more points for a gun kill, wouldn't that motivate you to get to a gun quicker? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's a nasty storm. Still want to figure this thing out. I don't... I don't know if I'm like... Was it something in here, maybe? The ability to make ice? Resources? I thought I saw it somewhere, and it was like in a weird area. Reduce exotics weights. Waste not. I'm looking for like a, an icon that looks like... A, look how far this goes down. Forest Master. That's me. Night Owl. Amphibian. There is a lot of good perks here, and unfortunately you can't play long enough to get them all. Where the heck is the ice thingy at? I thought I saw an icon. Maybe it's just something that looked like ice. Faster pistol reloading. Cheaper shotgun ammo crafting. Cheaper rifle crafting. Firearms weigh less in your inventory. Fi rifle re-up. Reload speed. Shotgun handling. Power up. Sovereign. Damage. Movement speed with amount. Bullet spread. Reduce firearm durability loss. Sharpshooter. New life. Chance that a gun gains durability on a breaking shot. Why in the heck would you even care about that? Chance to not consume ammo. Some really weird ones. There, that didn't take long. Uh, yes it did, Mitty. Yes it did. Gun time! You guys remember in Long Dark when I uh, deconstructed my gun? Oh. Oh, it looks pretty good. All right, it looks pretty good. Should we try and shoot a worm with it first? Oh, you know what? I won't be able to see my sights with the worm. We'll try it, though. I don't have any lights in here. Twelve hundred. So what? What do I? I hit it for three ninety something with my bow. Twelve hundred. Might not be so bad after all. All right, is the sun gonna come out or what? It's a cool looking pipe rifle. If you could sit up on a cliff and just shoot wolves. I wonder how much, like, the bullet velocity is as far as leading your target. See how accurate that is. The animals all bed down when the storm is out? Seems so. I'm not going to shoot a fish with the rifle. Come on, give me a wolf or something. Where's all the dang animals at? Oh. Okay, so I barely, barely had a... I kind of fired right when its nose was there. I want to get something far away and like a wolf. Wow, that's pretty good accuracy. So obviously none of those things need to be accuracy improvements on this. It's accurate right where you aim. That'd be fun to hunt with this. I want to hear a wolf. Back to my right.
Interesting. That is pre it's pretty good. It's a lot better than I was hoping for. Like, I was hoping, oh, uh, the pipe rifle. It's going to be garbage. It's actually really solid. I mean, I don't know about you're reloading against a bear or something. Maybe you could make your dude reload quicker, but... And these aren't super far shots. These are shots I could have made with my bow, but it would have taken a an exemplary shot. You know, like my most of my shots are. They're really good. They're really good. Put that one right in the heart. I think you'd do some damage against a bear. Bones for epoxy. What about no scope? Nope, you gotta aim. You gotta aim. Baby deer? Oh, that was a chamois. I shot that in the butt. Okay, so it's still stills reliant on the on the headshot. Find a wolf like way over there, that would be really cool to see if I could get a long distance shot with it. Just sometimes you don't know if a tree's not spawned in or something. So what's the uh, what's the take on the on the rifle? Pretty good, right? I think it's pretty darn good. Durability not terrible. Not terrible. It's not like really chewing it away or anything. Cool. I think the rifle was a win. Was it worth 40 steel ingots? Hmm. I guess. I'm not going to repair that again. I guess it is. It's f <laughs> I mean, I've been using the... I always use firearms in these games, right? And I've been using the, uh, the bow like crazy in this. So look at me now. Do not mess with the headless Wanda. Yeah, it's a good-looking gun. They did a good job with what it looks like as far as a pipe rifle goes. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to hit reload. It it auto-reloads for you. Like, see, I didn't hit anything there after I shot. There is an animation across the nation. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, the thing is, all it, in all my travels, which I guess haven't been that super far... But I haven't come across any bears. I'm sure there's bears somewhere. I mean, maybe if we went up this way farther. I went pretty far past my place over here. Who knows? Be cool to take on a bear with it. If you could get a headshot or two, probably get a kill. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, you guys. We got the rifle unlocked. It's good. The other ones, a shotgun and a pistol. Hey, I don't know. I'm not going to make them. I like this thing. I like the rifle. You guys hit that like button. We'll see you guys next time.